What is going on my Cardano friends? It's your friend Jack here and today we're going to be setting up a Uroi wallet and I'm also going to be showing you how to stake and delegate to a stake pool with your Uroi. If you missed my complete guide on everything you need to know about staking, it will be the first link in the description. Also, I'm going to be covering how to transfer from an exchange wallet to this wallet too, so stay tuned for that. Now let's get right into the video. Essentially what you're going to need to do is come to the first link in the description and or the second link in the description rather um, It'll be labeled and go ahead and come to your Roy and pick your platform of choice So you may be someone who is on your phone and you want to do this on your phone You may be on Firefox edge or Chrome pick your platform of your choice for me It's gonna be the Chrome extension. You're gonna come here add it to Chrome and then you're gonna see in the top right you're gonna click it and you're going to be prompted with this add new wallet page. So if you have a hardware wallet, you can connect your hardware wallet to this wallet, or you can create a new wallet, which is just going to be you writing down your keys on paper and storing them somewhere safe. Harbor wallets, I would highly suggest there's links down in the description to get yourself a ledger. Um, but if you have a ledger or a treasure, make sure you download the Cardano app on it and then proceed with this tutorial. Now, if you want to do the Harbor wallet, go ahead and do that. But today we're going to be using this wallet. Now you're going to select the Cardano currency for your Roy. And you're going to put create wallet right here. You're going to name your wallet, test wallet, and then you're going to set a spending password on this wallet. And this is essentially how you're going to send and receive funds or mainly just send funds. You're going to need to use your sending password. And then once you have a sending password, you're going to be able to proceed with creating your wallet all the way so create the personal wallet keep in mind you're going to need to write down some words right here so don't ever show these words to anyone else these are completely going to give access to your wallet so if anyone has these this phrase of words they can have access to your wallet and then they can send and receive funds using your wallet so press continue and you're going to go ahead and write these words down in order. Now, I'm just going to screenshot them because this is a test wallet, but I would keep them off your computer, keep them on paper, keep them on a USB drive, keep them away from internet to the access to the internet. And then once you've written them down, you can go ahead and do so by pressing proceed. Okay, so we're going to press yes, I've written them down. Then we're going to put them in order. We had gloom, garlic, and so on. After you enter your passphrase and confirm that you have it written down in the right order, also never show that to anyone, you're going to be prompted with two checkboxes, confirm both of them, I would highly recommend just reading all the disclaimers just so you know everything about the wallet, and then you're going to be greeted with this page here where you can see your wallet. Now right now we can't actually delegate to a pool, and if you want to delegate to my pool, it's ticker symbol Jack. But what we can do is receive ADA because we need to transfer ADA into this wallet to actually start delegating. So how do we do this? You're going to go ahead and you're going to copy this address. And then you're going to go over to Binance and just conf and then just find your uh, wallet, essentially. So you're going to have to buy Cardano on the exchange of your choice. Many of these exchanges are going to be very similar. We're using Binance, but many exchanges are the same thing. Find your wallet and go to it and then search up ADA inside your wallet, wherever it may be, you're gonna find that and then you're gonna click the action that is the withdrawal action. After you've done this, you're gonna paste that address we just had in here and then confirm the last four letters slash numbers and 9CZ9, go back here, 9CZ9, ADDR1 for the first five, a D D R one. So we're good to go. We got the address confirmed. Now you can go ahead, pick how much ADA you want to send to this wallet and press the send button. Once you've done that, you're going to see after 30 seconds to a minute, the transaction come into this wallet, sometimes more from exchanges. So just be patient with it. As long as you have the number correct, you should be good to go. And then once the ADA comes into this wallet, you're going to go over to the delegation tab and you can pick a pool. Now, if you missed my video on how to pick a pool and everything you need to know about staking, it's linked down in the description. But today, if you want to support my pool, the ticker symbol is Jack right here. So this is a new pool right now. Uh, the rewards are unknown, but you can go ahead, 
find a pool you like, pick it, press delegate, and then if you have enough funds, it'll prompt you with, are you sure you want to delegate? Click yes, and then when you come back to your dashboard, you're gonna see that you're delegating to a pool after some time has passed and it has had a chance to refresh. That's essentially all you need to know about the Uroi wallet, how to set it up, and if you're confused about staking or anything in those terms on how to pick a pool, definitely check the video link down in the description about that. Anyways, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you wanna support me by staking with ticker symbol Jack, then please go ahead and do so. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.